Okay, so I've been using Mac OS Pixel 11.2 Beta 2 for about four days now, and this is my follow-up video. This is kind of late because I usually do my follow-up videos after two days, but I can sort of explain. First, my battery usage on some days it wasn't showing, seems to be a bug that's present here. And second of all, since COVID started, I actually managed to go out and do something in a safe environment, and I slightly broke my leg while doing that, so I might probably need a sub. Sponsored by Clean My Mac X. So when it comes to Mac OS Pixel 11.2 Beta 2, this is actually an update that I noticed that not too many people are interested about it because, well, it didn't bring a lot of changes. But the main changes that we have with this update, the first one is that it prohibits or stops third-party apps and softwares from bypassing VPN and firewall when it comes to this update. Before, there were some sketchy softwares and applications that could do that, but this adds a better security barrier to that. And the second change that came with this update has to do with custom canal. So this update has full custom canal. And when I say full, this means, you know, Linux, Unix, whatever you want. You can customize a whole lot, canal, startup icons, and a lot. And shout out to this user on Twitter. They are the first person that I noticed that mentioned this. So this is amazing that you can finally do that. Now, basically, that's, that's the reason why so many people aren't interested in this update, because the changes that are there, physically, you're not going to see a new wallpaper, new icons, or something like that. It's more towards developers or programmers. It's something that's internal. When it comes to some bugs, I should say that some of the bugs that I was experiencing previously are still here. Like for example, if I go to the about this mark section, you can see that there's this little highlighted section here where the system report is. And I did try to reset some of the settings in my mark to see if it's perhaps a key that I pressed and it enabled this. But this is actually still here with this update, even after rebooting my Mac a couple of times. And the second bug has to do with my battery usage or my screen on time not showing with this update. Speaking of battery, why not look at the battery performance? Because that's actually one of the reasons why I took so long you know, to make this follow-up video. So let's go into our system preferences and see how our battery is performing. By the way, if we go to the About This Mac section and go to System Reports, right here and go to where it says power you can no longer see your battery status or your condition in terms of percentage you can see that here we just have normal before it would show like 90 95 and if it's brand new it would show 100 but here we have normal and if we go into the system preferences and go to the battery section as you can see right here if i was to actually go to where it says battery there and go to battery health you can see that even here we don't have the percentage we have the condition as normal this is a feature or a removal of a feature that i used to like and i don't know if you used to like this but it's good to see you know especially if you want to buy like a second hand mac or something like that it's good to see that percentage because normal you know what is normal is normal above 80 percent is normal below 1000 charge cycles because it would show you the percentage before, but now you have normal or service. Normal is sort of a wide band and the percentage was better. I hope this is something that Apple brings back. And if someone from Apple is watching this, please do bring this feature back. It was amazing. Anyways, let's look at the battery performance that I've been getting on this Mac OS Pixel 11.2 Beta 2. If you go to the usage history, and this is the last 10 days. So if I am to show you my last 24 hours, today I did test this battery usage again. So as you can see at around 06, my battery was at 100% and then the drop was very constant, very constant. So usually I try to use it like a normal user. So sometimes I read PDFs, I visit web pages, I use Ecosia to browse and plant some trees while doing and reading on the internet, which is good for the environment. And also I stream some videos on YouTube. I mean, YouTube is the new television. I guess YouTube and Netflix, we can say that. So that's what I usually do. So I try to use it like a normal user would. Whenever I try to use this to 
edit or do some video production here it sort of doesn't hold and isn't fair or a good representation of how the battery is performing so the v that you see here is basically like a normal usage it's not like video editing or so on you can see that here at around about 50 percent the drop is more constant unlike the 100 to 50 percent so from 50 percent to about 10 percent that is where we have a sharp drop you can see how long it took to drop from 100 to about 50 percent it took about four hours but from 50 percent to like five or so percent you can see that it took way way shorter time and so this is the battery drain that i don't like and that is there in fact when it comes to battery performance this mac os pixel 11.2 beta 2 is better than beta 1. so on beta 1 i noticed that the issue that i was having whereby my mac could be on 20 percent and then it jumps from 20 to like 10 or be on 30 percent and jumps to 5 that issue is no longer happening with this update so they got that right however when it comes to the last portion of battery percentage as you can see i'm still having some issues and if we go into the last 10 days for example on friday the screen on time that i got was about five hours and the charge that are, that is associated to that is about uh, 50 percent that is not too bad i think that was light use however if you look at saturday you can see that i got about three hours 50 minutes and that was basically using around 170 percent of charge so on saturday i had a lot of meetings video calls so i did use a lot of zoom and zoom being a third party app i noticed that when it comes to this update third party applications drain like power way way more than apple native apps this is something that's been there from beta one and up to this update unfortunately that issue is still here and then also you can see here on sunday you know screen on time is missing i was actually planning to do a video then but as you can see it didn't show up and today being a monday you can see that i got about three hours using about 75 percent of charge so it's not the greatest when it comes to battery performance but i should say compared to beta one um, it's better in the sense that it's no longer dropping big chunks or you know just jumping a huge portion of battery percentage other than that it still needs to be tweaked a little bit in order to work with third-party apps better I noticed using Safari you can go a long way but using Chrome or Zoom then that drains a lot of charge so that is how the battery is performing now if we go to youtube to see how many people are seeing this update on youtube on the youtube community pool so if we go there and go to the community results you can see that i basically asked how is mac os pixel 11.2 beta 2 working for you and from the results at the time i'm recording this video you can see that we have about 200 votes that is a good turnout thank you very much for having a say and you can see that 16 percent of the people that updated said it's great and then seven percent said that it's okay but a few issues and two percent said it's terrible and 68% said I'm on macOS 11.1 or order, which is good. You can see that not many people have updated and 9% said that they use Windows. By the time you watch this video, the results could be slightly different. So keep that in mind. And if we look at some of the comments that we have here, you can see that the first one is basically a user that isn't having any issues, but they are on macOS Pixel 11.1. And then you can see that Amin here said that they are having serious frame drops when it comes to mac os pixel 11.2 beta 2 the same beta that i'm on right now so that was an issue with ios 14.4 beta 1 and apparently for him you can see that you know he's experiencing these issues and on top of that bluetooth connection issues for me most of the external devices that i use like mice displays and so on they're working as they're supposed to i actually didn't have a hit when it comes to these bluetooth connection issues so i think it could be something that's more prominent when it comes to apple silicon or m1 max now i was thinking since we talk a lot about max why not talk about upcoming max or the current mac rumors that we have today so we have some information when it comes to the new and upcoming 14 inch macbook pro and 16 inch 
MacBook Pro. So according to a very well-known and prominent Apple analyst, Mark Gurman, you might have seen him if you watch MKBHD, he featured there. And also if you listen to the Waveform podcast, he's also been featured there. And on top of that, his track record is above Mr. Hit the subscribe button if you're sitting on a toilet. So he's very well respected. And he mentioned that this year in 2021, somewhere around the second quarter of 2021, we can sort of expect a new redesigned 14 inch MacBook Pro and 16 inch MacBook Pro. So if the new M1 Max that we have here, the MacBook Air and 13 inch MacBook Pro and Mac Mini don't work for you, then then perhaps if you are in the market and looking for a new Mac, then this isn't actually a time to buy an Intel Mac because you know you want a bigger screen because newer and better ones are coming and they are coming fast. So when it comes to these Macs that are rumored to be coming, some of the changes that we can expect, the first one that I'm excited to see and can't wait to see how much they change this is the redesign. So there could be a change when it comes to the display that those new MacBook Pro models are going to be using. They could be moving to mini LED with slightly brighter displays, which would be amazing. And also perhaps the form factor of the Mac could also be redesigned. Perhaps something boxy like the new iPhones, but at this time it's sort of debatable as to how much redesign we are going to see on these Macs. And also something else that's interesting has to do with the MagSafe charger. So just like we saw with the newer iPhones, they came with MagSafe charging. And also with the rumored portless iPhone to be coming this same year, well, MagSafe seems to be something that is more of an expectation on the higher end of this scale. And when it comes to the processor that could be powering these new upcoming MacBook Pro models, there are three options. And the first one could be that, you know, they have this M1 chip that is there already on the MacBooks that we have, however, at a higher frequency and clock rate. And the second option is that they could actually have an M1X chip, which will be a higher or a second generation from the M1 Mac or an M2 chip, meaning like Mac 2 since it will be the second generation. So I'm not a fan of a 13 inch MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air cause I feel like I don't wanna be limited. So when the 16 inch MacBook Pro comes out, I'll be keeping a very good eye on that. It's still going to be interesting to see how they manage the GPU aspect of it, whether they use a third party source for GPU or combine it like what we have on these M1 Max that we already have. So those are some of the rumors and the touch bar, if you're not a fan of it, there's some rumors suggesting that at this time, the touch bar could be disappearing from the Mac. So other than that, that's about it for me when it comes to a slight follow-up on Mac OS beta and also some new Macs coming very soon. Remember, if you're in the market for a 14 or 16 inch Mac, I would hold off a little bit from buying something until we get more information and clarity as to what is coming. I can tell it's promising. And when it comes to Mac OS Pixel 11.2 beta 3, I'm expecting something perhaps this week Thursday or next week between Tuesday and Thursday so that's sort of the window officially after a few betas Mac OS Pixel 11.2 should be released to the public somewhere in March or April other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed a sub will be great stay safe and I'll see you in the next video very soon peace